Can't beat a coffee first thing in the morning. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt. The Booted Berserker! Yay! All the shops are back open again. Chaos has ensued. Tourists everywhere. Still fell load off of work, but I hope you guys are keeping safe and well wherever you are, whatever you've been getting up to, whatever you're doing. I say this each and every single time. Should I say it again? Yes, because I actually mean it. Thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart for all the support I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my Beard Berserker YouTube channel where I am me, sat in front of my iPad, doing my hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not huge massive faceless brands. That ain't my thing, not into huge massive faceless brands. It's all about helping and supporting the little people out there that are trying to make ends meet and I'm finding with all the reviews that I do on my channel, which are completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own opinion, that they're putting so much time, effort, love, and passion into what they're doing, that it's, it's just amazing. So if you are new to my channel, and you are expecting intros, outros, flashy graphics, and all that malarkey, you ain't gonna be getting it here. Um, because I've just got my iPad in front of me, so I record my videos. Everything I do is kind of unscripted, apart from a few bullet points in front of me. Upload them whoosh, straight onto YouTube. So yeah, <sighs> another glug of coffee before I get going. Oh, you can't beat the black stuff in the morning. Mm. So yeah. Also as well, before I get started, if there is anybody out there that does need any help, support, promoting, advertising, reviews done or anything, please get in touch with me. Never charge for what I do. I'm not after commission. I'm purely here to try and help others the best that I possibly can do. Um, I do photos on Instagram to kind of like promote the video that I'm doing on here. And it's just all about trying to help others. So this morning's review has been very kindly sent through from the Solid Cologne Project. This is them. Um, highly concentrated, wax-based fragrance, modern alternative, long-lasting and portable. Thank you so, so much, Peter. That's Peter. That's not actually him, but that's his name. Thank you so much, Peter, for sending these through. Based in Aberdeen, up in Scotland, and fingers crossed, in just over three weeks' time, me and the missus, we're going up to Scotland, going to be doing loads of photos and some vloggy bits and everything. First holiday we've had in about 15 years, because... You know what I mean? You get work and everything, and during the summer season when you want to take time off work, you end up working. Well, haven't been recently because of being furloughed. So I can't wait going up to Aberfoyle. Get some photos done and bits and pieces and go and see some people. So I'm really looking forward to that, trying to work out what kilts to take. Um, so there you go, that's that. Benefits of solid cologne. Portable, fits in your pocket, rucksack, etc. Durable, long and sturdy, won't smash. Long lasting, so a little goes a long way. Discreet, apply without drawing attention. Ease of use and alcohol free. And there's a little diagram of how you do it. So they've got, well he's brought out men's and women's scents. Although pretty much nowadays everything is kind of universal and unisex. And he's very kindly sent through three for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Now, I prefer being outdoors than I do indoors. I work, so does the other half, and I'm, I do have problems with spending a lot of money on expensive kind of like bottles of perfume. It's all right, Christmas time, birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, whatever, getting something nice, but, to me, and in my opinion for what it's worth, um, they are kind of a bit overrated. You know, once you put it on, nobody really knows what brand it is. So it could be like a five pound brand or it could be hundred pound plus brand. Um, so nobody really knows what perfume you're wearing. The only, per or aftershave, the only, cologne, whatever you want to call it, aftershave, I'm old school. Um, so nobody really knows what you got on. You're not going to go, look, I'm wearing whatever it is, Dolce and Banana or whatever. And so to me, it's more about the scent than the actual label brand behind it. And I've done, I think, three reviews in the past on these solid cologne bars, and I love them. 
I love them, A, because you can keep one in your shirt pocket, jacket pocket, rucksack, wherever you're going. And these are the ones that have been sent through. We have Viking, and I've used, I've tried, I've tested all of these apart from the Big Smoke. Um, we've got, so we've got Viking, Big Smoke, and we've got Outlander. So links will be down below. Please show them some support. Ingredients on them is mainly beeswax, shea butter, shea butter, and almond, sweet almond oil. All of these products have been CPSR checked, which is Cosmetic Product Safety Report. Um, always make sure if you're in the UK or Europe that you always make sure any cosmetic products and facial stuff and shampoos and stuff that you use is all CPSR checked in order to be legally sold. Also, always recommend doing a little test patch first, giving it 24 hours uh, before you use the product just in case, because you could have an allergic reaction to just about damn well everything nowadays. So, I've tried them and used them. So first of all, you've got the Viking. Comes in one of these little slidey cases with label on it and then all the ingredients and doohickey on the back. Solid cologne, I've got really dry hands this morning. So this one is the Viking, and like I say, it comes from Aberdeen in Scotland, and scents of juniper, cedar, lemon, clove, moss, and leather. So what I tend to do with this is literally get some on one finger, that starts melting and breaking down like that. You don't need too much, because a little does go a long way. Be on ears, wherever you want them to and that's literally all you do. So one of these is gonna go a long, long, long way. And the scent, I do have a scent scale here. Can you see it? Very, very subtle, medium, and rip your head off and kick it into next year. These are well up on that three quarters of the way scale up there. They last hours. I mean, most beard products that I use, beard oils, balms and stuff, tend to last about four hours three and a half, three hours, four hours. This is lasting well up until sort of six hours time. The missus is coming from home and she's like, oh, you've made an effort, you smell nice. I was like, cheers, I try and make an effort every day, but thank you very much. So the scent does last a really, really long time. And like I say, as opposed to carrying a bottle in your pocket or gym bag or whatever, one of these, slide them in your pocket and you're good to go. And the smell, they smell absolutely stunning, these do. That was the Viking one, which I said, like I said, is juniper, cedar, lemon, clove, moss, and leather. Smells exactly like it. Love it. N moving on, I haven't actually tried this one. I've smelt it. Uh, you've got the big smoke, hashtag solid cologne. Um, vanilla, tonka, spice, tobacco leaf, and oak wood. The Viking one is quite a rich, kind of dense, almost wintery sort of scent. This one does smell of everything it's supposed to. Primarily you get in the vanilla and the tobacco leaf and it's not like a fag ash smell. It is like kind of pipe tobacco or something. Almost like a cigar tobacco. I know tobacco is tobacco. Slight sort of woodiness to it as well really really good and I have done a couple of reviews like I said in the past for solid colognes these to me my opinion for what it's worth probably bugger all to you guys um, but are the best that I have used and seen I've had no allergic reactions to anything and the scent is just there so like I say, some of the scents are a bit more stronger and pokier, others are a bit more relaxed and kind of smoother scents, depends on what you're into. That's just keep smelling, that's all I can smell at the moment. Wipe my hands on my jeans and all that. Yeah, that's pretty much gone. And we have Outlander. I only watched series one of Outlander and kind of got a bit bored with it and then I watched the programme and Graham and Sam bought out uh, Men in Kilts. So yeah. I preferred that over Outlander. I wasn't a huge, massive fan of that. Uh, so Outlander, blackcurrant, pepper, bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. I love the simplistic designs of these. 
I'm not sure what size 10 they are, but there you go, it's what it looks like against my fingers. And I've used this one. I love this. This is kind of fresh, summery. Slight, I would say the Big Smoke is the more relaxed, subtle one. Then you've got the Viking and Outlander, which is kind of your heavier, more intense scents. Smells absolutely amazing. I, I've i literally fallen in, brand, in love with this little brand, uh, with what Peter's creating. They are highly concentrated. They work extremely well. Have noticed as well on the website when I was doing the notes this morning that they also do, apart from the men's and women's range, they also do sachets as well. Um, if the sachets are as good as these products, they're going to be cool. You can either bang them on a radiator, hang them on a clothes rail, stick them in your wardrobe, your knicker drawer, whatever you like just to make your clothes and room smell really nice. So really keen on trying those out and I have noticed they have bought, or he does have another scent which I need to buy is one called Klansman. That sounds amazing. Um, but price on these, 15 quid a piece, or there is an option that you can spend, I think 19 quid on them. I would quite happily spend 20 quid on these. They are so good. If you're looking for an alternative that you can slip in your sporran, this is a sporran, um, so yeah, obviously, just open it up, and if you're going to a nice evening do or event or something like that, you can get it, and you can pop it straight in your sporran. Um, handbag, wallet, bag, gym bag, jacket, these are amazing. I love the scents, they are truly top notch. Thank you so, so much to Pete, for Peter, for sending these through for me to have a look at. Like I say, I do want to get a couple of sachets stick on the radiators in the living room and I want to get one of those Klansman ones as well. These are top notch. So good things do come in small packages. I'll get this one. Threw me sparring on the floor. Dress sparring by the way, not day sparring. Day sparring tend to be just leather. Semi-dress are fur and leather. Evening wear ones have the cantle on the top, although some semi-dress sparring can have cantles on the top. Um, so yeah, these are extremely amazing. Great, great, great. I cannot rate them enough. All natural products, knocking it out of the park with these. Uh, so if you are looking for something cool for yourself or for that special someone in your life, get in touch with him. Got some amazing ones. I think he's got around about 15, 20 different scents out. They are stunning. Absolutely love them. Solid Cologne project based up in Aberdeen. Give them some help and support and a follow. And that's my little review this morning. I thought I'd do it in the kitchen as opposed to the spare bedroom. Well, review. And yeah. So please feel free to comment down below. I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made. And anybody out there that needs any help, please get in touch with me. Can't wait to go up to Scotland. So looking forward to it. But whatever you're getting up to, guys, keep on taking care of each other, keep on helping, supporting each other, and above all, keep on loving each other. Watch out for the mad people out there. They're everywhere. But have a great day, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me on another review from the Mad the Bearded Berserker. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, and thank you so, so much to Peter, the Sonic Cologne Project. Stunning work. Thank you.